Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi with the Crypto Pi. And today's Friday, so we have another crypto market round of work over Bitcoin and all the other altcoins in my watch list. Basically Binance. Right? So um let's take a look. Bitcoin still just going sideways, very boring. Um not much going on here, guys. So let's go straight into the alts. I do expect Bitcoin to pump or maybe fall back down to 6.2, but nothing major uh, happening there really yet. I mean, you, you can see the, the triangles were much larger still. So, um, yeah, it, it, but something is bound to happen on Bitcoin though. Um, so let's go to Ethereum. Ethereum is kind of following Bitcoin, so it's very boring as well. So let's jump on to ADA here, right? Um, I had a triangle here and we broke through it, so um, I can obviously remove it. Or it doesn't really matter, I can just keep it. But um, so ADA is, uh, well, fell through that. So actually, r remove it and we'll uh, take a look at maybe a longer term one. This looks about right. Alright guys, so um, make sure you draw your own as well. And I mean this this would kinda be it what what we're in, right? For Ada. So also always take a look at the fibs. Let's see what what, what fib is it in. Right? It's currently at the 618. So but it already bounced from the 618 and that's why uh, you know you need to be wary about it. Because, I mean, one bounce, maybe a second, right? It also shows you higher high, um, higher lows on the R side, which is bullish. So that's pretty good. But, um, yeah, I mean, this could definitely, if you want, you could take a trade here, right? I mean, you could literally have a stop of, of about one and a half, two percent. Um, and, uh, well, your targets could be up there, right? Where, where the highs are. So your target would be just in the 14% or so. Uh, ADX is climbing. It's above the EMAs, wants to go up. So it's looking good as well. Ion is just going sideways. Then we have Ambrosis. Is I mean, it's climbing, right? So if you want to enter, well, once again, guys, you just throw a simple trend line here. Then we just throw a Fibonacci here as well, right? And um, you just look, okay, so w what is coinciding? Well, the 618 is under the trend line. That wouldn't be good in this case. The 0.5 is very good though. Um, so it, 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 you know, it, sh it should come down there. You don't want to buy it right now because it's just kind of in the middle, right? It's that simple. Okay, guys, so next, um, Aaron, I'm definitely watching this because it had a lot of volume in the past days. Uh, that's why I have it drawn like this. Um, right, I'm, I'm waiting for a, either a pop, a breakout, right? So I kind of want to see a breakout on this. Uh, AppCoin, well, the, the same thing applies here, guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's, um, you see all these wicks, so don't worry about the wicks, guys. Um, you know, you just draw yourself some trend lines here. Whether this is the correct one, you, you never know, right? No one can tell you if a trend line is correct. That's why I I'm not the biggest fan of doing, making triangles and stuff. But, uh, and, and I'm much more a fan of horizontal tools such as the Fibonacci or horizontal lines. Because horizontal is price action and that's kind of what, what's really going on. So this one already bounced from the 618, which is great because right now it's going up. Um, whoever got in there is, is, you know, is doing good. Um, I mean, you probably sold some because it came to these top ranges again. Once again, see, it's very simple, guys. Um, it literally just came to this top ranges from the 618. So, you know, you could have just sold up here. Very simple, 27%. All right, bet. Um, I'm looking at this, but I do think this will go down. Uh, honestly, one, two, three, four, five. I don't think this will last. So uh, let's throw a fib on the here as well, right? If we throw a fib on here, I do expect to come to the point five or even six on it. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, the shit coin, um, it's just on the ground. Uh, it is showing some RSI bullish uh, divergence, which is great. So maybe it's gonna pop back up to here, which would net you another fifteen percent. Uh, Bitcoin Cash USD, Blue Zell is also uptrending. So a lot of things are uptrending, guys, which is good. Right? It's, it's nice to see. So very simple, right? You just you just put some trend lines, guys, and then maybe maybe like this, right? Um, and uh, no, 
I don't always show you guys that, that I'm doing this, right? Because, well, frankly, Fibonacci tells me more than than a, than a triangle. But I still do this as well, guys. You know, I use multiple things. So I'm, I'm not only going on the Fib, right? So if this, you know, it definitely bounced from the six on eight. All that where basically this was also the, the, the trend, right? So um, that's def that was definitely a good point to get in. That was based on, I mean, if you only use this and this point, then you would have had this trend line as well. So um, from there, I mean, you just aimed for, uh, obviously you wouldn't know it would go higher. So you just aimed for these ranges up here, right? 16%, you would have sold here, bang. Okay, that's, that's it, that's done. Um, Binance is just on the ground, it's not doing much. Uh, BQX is uptrending, so another one you can look at. Uh, however, I would say this one broke its trend. I mean, you just simply do like this, so yeah, it broke its trend. So, what, what are you waiting for on this? Well, of course, you're waiting for some kind of 618, right? So, you're waiting for it over here. All right, so Bitcoin futures obviously, they're standing still because it's Friday. All right, Bitcoin longs are a little bit up again, but not much at all. Um, Bitcoin shorts are still up there. Um, you know, in the bigger scale of things, they're still definitely up there. Uh, Bit shares is uh, currently all the way down here, so that's not uh, not really nice to see, honestly. Um, it, it needs to. Yeah, it's not doing much, all right. This is not one I want to trade. CMT is not one I want to trade. When it's under the EMAs, it's not even worth looking, guys. Um, honestly, because it's it's just dangerous. Uh, this one is not one I want to trade. Either. Dash uh, Dent Coin. Um, I don't like the Satoshi value, so we're not looking at that. Doc is. Um, I mean, you know, it's uh, we definitely have a trend here, right? So, but. It's a waiting game on this one, guys. Honestly, you want to wait until it gets back there, which is also if we throw the Fibonacci on there, um, it's gonna be around 618, uh, depending on when it lands there, right? But yeah, you, you just wait patiently. So, uh, Elf, all right, Elf um, is just the ranging, it's not one I would want to trade either. EOS is also ranging, um, getting very tight here, right? Very simple, guys. You see, I, I just keep doing it so you, you guys can see what I mean, right? It's just very, very, very simple. Um, and uh, this is always, and that that's why, I, I, well, once again, guys, you know, horizontal lines and fibs are more um, successful than this because, I mean, where are you exactly going to buy if you only would use this, right? You would want to buy close to the bottom, of course, or when it breaks out, but uh, and definitely not in the middle anywhere. But um, other than that, like, like, are you going to take wicks or candles? Like, you know, you just draw it roughly, all right? That, that's that's the whole thing. Everyone draws it roughly, and that's just how it is, right? Um, well, fibs are like exact, so that. That's the big difference. All right, so Ethereum Classic, no, it's going down. Ethereum, Bitcoin, it's uh, not doing all that much either. Ethereum USD, already went over that. GTO is um, currently going up as well. Very similar to some of the other ones, but you know, you just draw them again. And maybe, well, this one has a, a broadening one. So that is interesting to see, right? Um, if you would draw it like this, but you know, some people might say like, I'll draw it like this, and I consider this a bull re bull uh, trap region, which is fine as well. Nothing's wrong with that. Uh, GVT is, um, I think, it needs to pull back a little bit. We have a very nice uptrend here, so if we just draw this right here, right, boom, there's our uptrend, and uh, I mean, basically, you're just waiting for that to come back down to around seven eight six, maybe eight eight six. Uh, because this one one two three four five so this one already five so this is definitely a one this then the two but then one two three four five this is your three for your four coming down right and uh, I mean you, you simply need to wait so it, I mean if I consider that I need to put this down here right uh, which would also make sense a three eight two so yeah uh, GRS is just going sideways very boring uh, let me actually check. Yeah, no, no RSI bullish either. So, and then we have hot. Um, I don't like the Satoshi value, 
But other than that, I do think it did a 618 here. Yeah, it did. So um, you see how strong 618 is, guys. All right, icons just going sideways. Um, you know, it's um, getting pretty tight here. Let's let's throw a, you know a very simple trend line on here as well. Just uh, you know, just you see what I'm doing. I keep doing this, guys. So because I normally don't do this too much that you guys see it at least I do do it for myself But most of the time I'm only messing around with the fib right in my videos, but I definitely do this as well guys and um, By doing both you get the best entries. Okay, uh, IOTA is uh, it's just going sideways IOTX um, Obviously, you know uptrend. So well, you, you already know what I'm doing here guys um, well, are we considering this a bear trap? If we do, then we have something like this, right? But that is if you take it from here. Now, this one is weird, right? Because if you take it from here, which you have more points, you could also have it like this. So, um, is this one I would want to trade? Yeah, um, probably not. Because I, I can put multiple lines here. And I mean, there's definitely better ones that are easier to spot. Now, self key um, is another one that... Um, you know, we, we can um, take a look at. Now, would I want to do this? Or would I want to take it from here? Right? Uh, it it does matter a little bit. Uh, but anyways, it needs to get back down to either that one or the other low one. So, it's definitely not there yet. Uh, Kyber Network. Um, well, actually, this one doesn't have that. This one just simply has two points, which is great. So you just throw it like that. Okay, you need to wait for it to come down. So link, uh, what was going on here? One, two. This is uh, your three is still, my three is still up there. Didn't reach, but we'll have to see what happens here, right? If not, um, we do have a nice trend here established. So if it gets back down here, you might want to take a trade. Um, that's entirely up to you, of course. Right? Very simple. So. That is just how simple it can be, guys. I make it very simple, and I mean, uh, on this, of course, you also put a fib, right? So this you want two, so you take it from your two, because this then your three, your three went lower than I expected, um, and uh, well, you would want to see 0.5 here, or you know, something like that, right? Um, which also with one, two, so this would be a three, then you get your four still, and then you get your five into the three, and then back to the four uh, for the five up here, right? Um, but hey, um, that's kind of how I had it. Okay, so Loom. Um, I think it, this needs to hold. This looks like no, it actually this is not the trend line yet. So it can still go a little lower, all the way to the point five actually, uh, which is great to see on this one as well. Uh, Lisk. Uh, well, Lisk is um, actually pretty interesting here, right, guys? Uh, so because if we take it from all the way up here and we throw one nah that's not too good but if we do it like this okay and then we have one over here you can see we what I do like triangles guys if it's actually making a triangle like a symmetrical one uh, the symmetrical ones are awesome right um, ascending ones are nice as well but like if I can make only a channel, it's less nice to me, okay? So uh, yeah, I do like this. Uh, let's see a fib here as well. If you take a fib, it did go almost to the 618. So um, yeah, look for a breakout on this. Um, I'll definitely add this to my uh, flag list. So to watch. Uh, Litecoin is just going sideways. Um, then we have Mana is currently uptrending as well. So right. There we go. You, you, you see what I keep doing here, guys, right? It's very simple, but this one actually is a sending one. So, um, yeah, definitely is just uh, trending, trending, trending. It's always one to add as well. Uh, MDA is one that I talked about already. It's a descending triangle, actually, guys. So uh, keep that in mind, right? It's bound, like, it should break down. But if it does, then, you know, you can always go for a little bounce on the 618. That's why I have an alert set here, right? Uh, so that's why I said this might not be the 4. Like, this could be an A, B, and then the C could be lower still, right? Um, but this is definitely one you should watch. And these, the, this is basically the levels you want to watch for selling, right? Um, this one, this one, and, um, and up here. 
the next two three six right uh but yeah th that's mda for you it's definitely bullish um so yeah mft also needs to come back down right obviously um, so we have a long-term trend established here right it needs to come back down to these ranges honestly uh, I wouldn't want to buy it up here um, I wouldn't suggest you guys to do it either uh, MTH um, well let's just see what's going on here right we definitely have a trend here established um, then we have some kind of rising wedge going on here if you if you want to draw it like that uh, that is bound to fall right if you see rising wedges like this well you guys know it you, you've seen a lot of them on bitcoin right they do fall so um if it goes higher well you know it, it's bound to fall like these are not supposed to break out okay so if it gets close to the the apex point there it it, it should fall down all right then we got mtl metal is um not really uptrend it's tiny bit uptrending right um i mean you, i would consider this definitely like some bearish region right uh so more like maybe like this is very choppy not one to one to trade nano on the other hand uh is pretty interesting as well i mean yeah you can't really do that either see so uh, maybe like this this, this looks better right and then you have this one slightly so you have a it's slight right it's not that much but obviously if it breaks out then you're looking for a target up here so this is one i would want to add as well uh nef coin because you see guys i like the symmetrical triangles and uh i mean and ascending triangles obviously um so this one is you know it's decently interesting as well nef coin uh it's because it's a uh, th so the ones that are uptrending guys are interesting right uh the ones that are going down obviously not because you cannot short on binance uh, so yeah this is another one so it, you just add it you go through your list guys and that's when you add okay so n cash because for example well n cash is not doing nothing right so not interesting a uh, neblio is this one interesting yet? Not really. It needs to come back down here. Uh, Neo is just on the ground, not doing much. NXS is just uh, downtrending still. Did it broke its uptrend? Uh, y y you know, like this is a case like did it or did it not, right? Um, it's it's hard to say, hard to say. But it's one that we want to watch, right? because uh, it does look like it okay so I, omg is um did this one break it's like the, the uptrend or no I, i'd say it did right it, it did so it, it's uptrending now um so yeah uh omg is looking okay-ish ontology all right so ontology what, how much did it retrace throw a fifth one here uh six one eight six five region but it already was there once twice this is the third time i expect this to go down not one i want to watch uh pivax and if it does go up you know there's so many others i'm watching right so it doesn't matter if i miss out on one so here you go there's one very simple trend line on pivax uh yeah you want to what you want to wait for it to come down so it's not one you want to go in right now we should take the fib from the bottom which is the 618 will be down there okay so that's kind of what you want to wait for a poe needs to come down as well you cannot really do anything right now uh, you know very simple uh power so guys this is what you do right if they're not down there at the moment well this one actually broke its uh, uptrend so not one i want to do a uh, qsp um <laughs> Let's see QSP here. Uh, it needs to come down there, obviously. Uh, probably need to take the fit from down here. Uh, so 618, 0.5, right? Uh, Q term is uh, also trying to go upwards here. 
but it needs to come down as well. So a lot of them just need to come down, guys, right? Um, so not one I want to watch right now, right this minute. Because this is six hour, guys, so keep in mind, that will definitely take a, take a while for them to come down, right? Unless there's some massive panic. Um, then this one, yeah, you, so you, you want to wait for it to come down there as well. It's just not one you want to, you can watch right now, right? And then if you take the tops, you would have something like this. So, right, something like that. Uh, definitely not what you want to get in right now, right, guys? You want to get in on the bottom. So RVN is definitely one I'm watching um, on the smaller time frames because, I mean, guys, ob this one's obvious, right? It did so much, but this one, you can really count one, two, three, four, four if this is the four already right yeah, i still have it like that it could do an abc but this could already be abc so i'm definitely watching this um because if this is four then we still get a five i right, salt it's also one that uh is pretty interesting here well not yet right it needs to definitely come down it's not one you want to get in right now you can see that without even doing a fib guys basically only throw the trend line on there if we do a fib on there as well, well, you can see that the 0.5 will be down there. Um, that is based on that fib. If we throw a fib from down here, then we see that the 618 points, if we, if it goes slowly down or 786. So it's definitely combining there. Storm is uh, one, two, three, uh, you know, four, and then the uh, fifth should still come, right? Um, but is, is it worth picking up right now, taking a risk for? Not really, guys, right? It needs to come down to the trend line. Uh, whether this trend line or whether you want to go with a super fast trend line like this. Um, I, I definitely want to wait for the bigger trend line on this. Uh, this just went parabolic, okay? Stratus. Um, like, oh, is this one... You, you see, it just needs to come down, guys, right? It's that simple. Right, substratum is just going sideways, very boring. TNT is definitely one I'm watching as well. Um, th these lines are based on smaller time frames. If we take a bigger time frame, you see this one's interesting, guys. You see, it's it's getting there very soon. Um, so that is definitely one I'm watching because, and then we have like a line right, like that, right, guys? So that is basically the the lines you have on this. Which would be a rising wedge, I understand. Um, but nonetheless, if it gets down there, it's worth a play, uh, even though it's a rising wedge, right? You you still because uh, the rising wedge is still very far away. So if it comes down here, you still expect it to go once more to the upper region, right? Which is a twenty percent trade. Uh, so I'm definitely watching that. Okay. Um, I can obviously get rid of this for now. But, uh, then we have TRX. If it loads, there we go. So TRX is, um, I'd, I'd say this one uh, fell down, guys. All right, not one you want to watch. Um, then we have um, Vibe here. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay, so Vibe is uh, quite interesting here, honestly. Um, if we take, I mean, do we take this top? Or... Like it, this is this hard to decide, right? Or do you do you take this? You you don't know. Uh this one's very hard to decide what which one you take. Well, let, let's just keep this one for now. It doesn't matter that much, and let's just take on the fib tool and see where it retraces to 0.5. Okay, so 618 is still lower, but you can see that would definitely break the uptrend, which is not what you want to see. If you see that, well, then you can still play it. No. You know, you know, no worries. You can definitely play a 618, guys. Um, if you buy this, you simply sell it when it gets to the trend line again, or at the 0.5, you want to be conservative, right? And you still have yourself a a quick 18% play. I right, feed chain, um, and uh, you obviously cut your losses if it uh, closer below the 65, right? So feed chain is um, what the 618 here. So this one should go up soon, right? It's definitely interesting because it's uh, at the 618 here. So if you take it like this, right? Then you have some kind of triangles well going, but that's only based on two points. We definitely don't know if that's true or not, 
right? So, but it is the 618, that's why I'm putting it here, right? Um, this is one I want to watch because it is very getting very, very tight. Uh, whether this will fall down or up, uh, I don't know. Uh, Wabi is also at 618, but it did a massive pump here, so um. You could also just buy this based on the 618 um, and target up here, you know, at these uh, these highs. So that's kind of what, what you're looking for, guys. All right? And uh, I mean, let's say it only gets back down, back up here, right? And well, you still have yourself got yourself like a 30% trade. So uh, keep that in mind, right? Just keep that in mind. Uh, then we have one chain is oh, this is a mess. Um, let me see one chain. Very nice uptrend here. Very nice. I like that. Okay, so then we have. Uh, well, this is your last top, so it's getting tight here, right, guys? So you you can see it. You, it's getting tight. Uh, so if this is your one, this is your two, then your three is gonna be massive, guys. Remember that this is only one two, okay? So um, this also retraced. Um, Uh, to about 618, 786 even. So 786, then 618. So it's getting tight, guys. This is definitely one I want to watch. Uh, probably buy on the breakout and on the pullback. Um, you know, that is kind of how I see this. Or if you maybe scale in a little bit on the bottom of it, right? Waves. Let's see your waves here. Um, I, I'm not sure if I can do this. Well, you can always draw, right, guys? You, you just got to keep drawing. And uh, if you do them on all the coins, like I'm doing here, it will obviously take you some time. But, like, I'm in the video for, like, 26 minutes now, okay? So, in 26 minutes, I've already done so much work. Um, because now I can just throw a fib on here and see this as well. Um, it's obviously under the 6.5, so that's a little bit less interesting. I do think this can definitely break down. Um, so, yeah. This can definitely break down, but nonetheless, you know, it's on there. So Walton chain. Uh, we do have a nice support here. You can see that already. We have a high here, right? So it's uh, getting tight here. That's for sure, right? That's for sure, guys. Um, then we throw a fib on here as well, right? And I can obviously get rid of this sort of fib. Uh, then you can see that we went to the 786 here, and you know, it, uh, if this is a one, this is your two, then your three would, you know, your target around, well, your first target. So your first target, guys, uh, would be around these tops, right? And then your second target would be around these tops, okay? So, or tops like bottoms, like something like that, right? Uh, very simple. So, yeah. Uh, Bitcoin Euro, Bitcoin USD. Stellar Lumens, All right, so let's take a look at Stellar Lumens here. And we just throw a line here, All right? Very simple, guys. Very, very, very simple. And there's uh, Stellar Lumens for you. Um, okay, so uh, this one only retraced to the 0 0.5 here, 618 from this fib. If we take the bigger fib, so we draw this one up there, and we would take this one down here. Um, it already went to 7861, so the other one would be the 618 here. Um, so yeah, it's definitely in a triangle, it's definitely interesting to watch, okay? Definitely interesting to watch. So this is another one that I need on my flag list. Okay, so then we have Monero, um, the 0.5. So I'll also take a look at this one, obviously. So this one's definitely not one I, I, I'm interested in, right, guys? Obviously, it's not down there yet. Uh, Ripple. All right, Ripple. Uh, I'm not interested just yet either. Okay, it's that simple, guys. It needs to get down here to 618, uh, which coincides with 618. Uh, Ripple USD, uh, Verge. All right, so Verge. Let's see what Verge is doing. I consider this a bear trap region because you see the big massive panic. Okay, so there you go. And then we um, take one from here. Right? Um, so that's Verge for you. So this one could be interesting. But at the moment, you know, it's still in a very tight range. But nonetheless, I'm adding it because there's a lot of fanboys and could move very, very, very fast. Right, then we have Zek here, Zcash. Um, 
not looking good, all right? It's just downtrending. Um, not interested, all right? Uh, Zilliqa is just going sideways. Not too interested here. I mean, we could put a support. I mean, the, the support is nice here, though. Support is nice, guys. Um, it's getting pretty tight as well. Actually, what did I say? Not interested. Uh, this is definitely uh, quite interesting, right? Um, definitely need to put this on. So, and th this is how simple it is, right, guys? So, if you have these all in your flag list, well, guess what? Um, so, then we still have ZRX. Uh, ZRX also, right? Very simple. One, two, three, four, five. I guess this is done. So let's take a fib as well. See my swing low to swing high. All right, point 0.5 will be down here at the trend line. See if that can hold, right? I don't like just buying a straight up point 0.5 because that's kind of dangerous. But um, the 618 I do though, guys. Um, 618 I'm not afraid of at all. Um, so, but the, the point 0.5 is uh, not one I, I straight up buy. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. But um, nonetheless, guys, this one has formed an uptrend as well so what I meant to say is so after you have this guys so then you just go to your flag list which you have on trading view and guess what so I have Bitcoin in there obviously so then I have RVN so all I need to do is like look look at this okay so if I have it on one hour I just see a triangle okay so as I see this one's trying to break out okay so am, am I like FOMOing no not at all okay so because what, what I know is that if it go breaks out then it will have some kind of little pullback where you can get in okay um so then we have bat okay so you know it's uh, the bottom of the triangle if it really falls maybe who knows right um mda is it's in this um descending one okay um storm i'm just only looking at the fib here uh you know it's not at the 618 yet okay next tnt is just in the middle of this triangle not doing nothing much okay so mft is um not close to support at all uh but it's uh, i'm looking at the 618 here as well gvt to, for a second play I, I already played this guys i already played mft on the 618 and it was very very poor okay i mean i bought it at the 618 and i sold it at a 0.5 it, it was a very simple trade right it made me five percent whatever um gvt is still you know it's it needs to come back down to the trend line but when it does uh, this one's been uptrending for a while guys so why wouldn't i you know be interested in that right so ada it's uh, currently at the bottom so if you want to buy the support go ahead um you know uh, it's also currently at the 618 so this one is pretty interesting right now right um i didn't get in yet so i'm definitely looking at it lisk is uh, another one and of course, look at the volume on Binance itself, right? What what kind of volume your uh, your coin is doing? Um, so uh, Lisk at the moment, you know, it's uh, just in the middle of the triangle, not interested. Mana is um, going away; it never hit the the bottom of it. So, but this one, remember, guys, this one is an ascending triangle. So this one's worth a breakout play as well, right? Um, but uh, it's definitely not there yet. Uh, Nano is currently at the top. It, I think it's going to fall back down to the bottom. Not interested. Nefcoin is just nowhere yet. Um, then we have NXS. Okay, so NXS is, um, you know, it needs to have some pullback to here. And then, um, you know, I'd be interested. So VET is currently at the bottom. All right, one chain is, um, it will, you know, it's just floating in the middle. Uh, Stellar Lumens is kind of like, you know, needs to come to the bottom as well. Verge, okay, so Verge um, is also nowhere yet. Zilliqa needs to come down as well. Um, and that's it, right guys? That's how simple it is. You just flip through your list like that and when you have a flag list together and that's all you do. Alright guys, so basically this was it for the crypto market roundup. Um, one quick look at Bitcoin, still just going sideways, nothing much going on. All right, so guys, also I have a Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash pygos. If you want to become a patron, that'd be awesome, guys. Um, you know, just check which tier fits you and you can become a patron that way. Um, I currently have two patrons and they can always message me on both Telegram and Discord and I'll get back to them um, based on, um, 
you know what they bought right um, the the patron what what, it, what benefits they have for example the five charts or a tier three obviously gets a one hour one on one call with me where I help them with their current trading setups etc right so um, yeah that is uh, that guys also join up with the crypto price block where you can ask me any question ask other people questions and it's just a great chat box to be in right so join up with that let's see what's going on here um, we have ontology meetup I didn't know about that um, let me check this chart GBT so yeah one two three four five okay so uh, yeah I'm definitely looking at GBT man so uh, yeah we're looking at the same coins that's uh, great to see uh, it definitely needs to come down and you can or you also have that like that but you have it all drawn out with a lot of um, Elliot which um, you know I, I do that in my head most of the time like the five waves because I'm not gonna count five and five and five and five I do that on Bitcoin because Bitcoin follows it to the T right but altcoins don't always do that unless it's a very high volume one like you know like, like Ethereum or um, you know one of the high volume ones Litecoin um, but yeah it's uh, looking good guys so I like that one um, yeah so join up with that guys also join up with the crypto price feed where i post all my videos post about upcoming icos when i find the ico i'll tell you guys about it to whitelist for so you are ready for the sale but at the moment don't expect any icos from me because both ethereum and neo are still very low priced and that means your ico needs to do very well right um it's that simple guys um so yeah what i do look for in the ico is a strong team i look for um infrastructure projects such as blockchains and protocols and of course I look for low token metrics right so a low market so it's easy to flip for us to make some money also guys follow me on Twitter which is twitter.com slash pygos and follow me on twitch which is twitch.tv slash pygos both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit that post notification button and if you've got any questions at all leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video